All right, this is the Eureka Prom in Pedal Program Mode. And he says PP, which should stand for that. All right, a D faults into Effects Mode. And pressing pedals 1 through 10 will send different control change numbers that are up on the screen there. Uh, okay, let's go to Preset Mode. Now, the pedals work as they are displayed on the screen. 1 and 6 are for the bank number, and then um, 7 and 2 for the, the, moving in 100s, 3 and 8 move by 10s, and 4 and 9 move by 1s, 5 sends, and 10 is send on every change. Okay, let's say I really like 121. So I go to Favorite Presets and I put it in pedal 1 by pressing and holding. Okay, let's go grab another one. Uh, now let's do uh, 27. Okay, so I send that, and I go back to favorite preset mode, and I press and hold on pedal 2, and now that has 27. So I press on 1, and you can see it's 121. Press on 2, and it's 27. So you can set, save 10 of your favorite presets that way. Now in SP mode, pedal 1 and 2 are for the switch jacks on the back. It turns them on and off. And 3 through 10 are actually mini notes, and it's, um, you can see which notes they are on our website and then it's back to EF. All right, now let me show you how to change the defaults. You hold 9 and 10 when you turn it on, and it says P1, and this is to change the CC number that's sent um, when pedal 1 is pressed in effects mode. So you can see I'm selecting um, 52, and I press 5, and that's locked in there. Pedal 2, you get to do the same thing. Um, and, and then it, through all 10 pedals you get to do that and if you liked what was in there before you can just keep hitting five and it'll keep the old value all right so the next one is ea that's the expression pedal and you can um, select which cc number that will modify um, eb is the right expression pedal and i did the same there now this next one pr is for the control change that's sent before the program change um, and you can change that to anything. Now, S1 is for the switch jack and S2 is for the switch jack 2 and that um, if it's 0 you set it to toggle and if it's 1 you set it for momentary and then you're back to EF mode and that is it.